Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print on demand designs that sell. And if you stay tuned till the end of the video, I have another five bonus niches for you. So in today's video, I wanted to go over what is currently right now a very popular trending niche. Um, and so I don't want you guys to miss out. Um, this is the everyone is welcome here niche. Um, if you follow the news, you may have heard that there is a teacher in Idaho who had a sign in her classroom that said everyone is welcome here and the district has told her that she has to take it down. Um, you can read up on that. It's, you know, uh, I don't want to say too much about my feelings on it. But anyways, there are a bunch of shirts now being sold in support of uh, the sign and this teacher um, that say everyone is welcome here. I'm on Amazon right now. And as you can see, I've just typed in everyone is welcome here shirts. And there's a lot of different ones. They all pretty much have the rainbow. Everyone is welcome here. They have the hands that have the hearts in them. That's what the sign looked like. Um, and as we're looking down at some of the BSR ratings for this, we're looking at a BSR of 101, 55, 55, 51, 67. Um, and so these are selling huge right now. Um, I can keep scrolling down past the ads. There's some more, here's some more here. And even down here, 100, 128, 150. So we're talking about a lot of these shirts that are all selling very well. Another one, 126 BSR, 145 BSR, um, 177 BSR. So you can see lots and lots of versions of the same design that happen to be selling incredibly well right now. And this is such a simple and easy design to make. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly show you on Canva how we can go ahead and make this design. Um, and just so you're aware of more of like the SEO, if I was to pick one of these designs that's doing really well, let's say this one here, because it's got 51 BSR, that's the lowest. So I can open up this one. Uh, they've gone ahead and put the brand name as Idaho Teacher Apparel Shirts. Obviously, that's not a real brand, but they're trying to get Idaho Teacher in the um, keywords. And then just everyone is welcome here, Idaho Teacher. That's what they put as their, um, obviously, their title there. Let's see, I, they didn't do anything in the description. So nothing in the description. So this one is ranking really well just on these basic, very simple Everyone is welcome here, Idaho teacher, and that's it. So we've got our multicultural hands, our rainbow everyone, and then that is it. So you put the heart in the hands and that's all we have to do. So let's go ahead, we'll make our own version of this. I'm gonna jump over to Canva. So on Canva's homepage, we're just gonna go ahead, hit custom size, and we're gonna design 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. That is the standard t-shirt uh, design size. And of course, we're going to optimize for the darker colors. Um, so we're just going to go ahead, select a background color of black. And then this is a very, very simple design. So we're going to start with some text along the top. And the first tech box, all caps, is going to say everyone. So there is our top box, everyone. Next box underneath, this one is going to be lowercase. And this one is welcome here. So if we're trying to make it look just like the sign, that would be down there. And that's going to be a little bit more scripty. And then we're going to need some hands that are multicultural and some hearts. So pretty simple here. We can go up to elements at this point. And I can search for hands, multicultural hands, however I want to do it. Um, if I did multicultural hand search, just to see if there's anything already made. Otherwise, you can just take hands and add a bunch of hands. So there's lots of different multicultural hand style stuff. Now, you can make your own version. Obviously, try to make it unique. But you don't want to skew too far off of the sign because that is what is popular right now as it was a sign with a bunch of hands that had hearts in it and they were multicultural hands. So you can find ways to make it a little bit more unique, but without losing the overall message. Of course, these were children's hands. So I see lots of other hands holding flowers. Here's hands in a circle, hands doing like little, you know, um, team thing. So we can scroll through, see if there's anything that's going to really look good. I mean, Lots of different styles of multicultural hands. Here's what would oops, say, look like kids' hands here. That would work. More hands. And so 
you can do that. Here's some more multicultural hands. Here's multicultural hands. And so, you know, you could see something like that where you can see different hands. Um, there's a lot of those. Uh, we can also just search for hands and see what we can come up with with hands where maybe we can just change colors of the hands to different colors of skin tone. So you're looking for something like here's some more multicultural hands here. And so that's one option there. Here's some different colorful ones. And so I know I had done this and I had found a couple that I really liked. Here's another one. Problem with this is you can change the color, but I can't change the color of each hand individually. We could go ahead and do one hand at a time this way, and that might be a good way to go. So I can change the color of the hands here. Let's say here's one hand and it came up with magic recommendations of a bunch of different hands. So I can do, if I move that out of the way, different hand styles. So there's another one, here's another one, here's another one, here's another one. And now I have to make these all so that I can see them. So let's just go ahead and pick some different colors here. Is there one more here? There we go. So something like that might do. So now I've got some different hands. Now I'd have to obviously change the color of these. Um, and I can put them in slightly different places. Is that that hand's a little bit different than that one? Oh, there's another one. There we go. So what we can see here is pretty easily. I can scooch those all up next to each other. Some hands can be higher than others. Some can be bigger than others. They don't all have to be the same size. You could have them overlapping a little bit if you wanted to. Something like that would work. And then we would just start obviously playing with some of the skin tones. Now you can try to do this yourself by just obviously playing with skin tones this way. And that's easy enough to do, making some a little bit more orangey there. Um, a little bit more red. And so there I've got different skin tone hands, something like that would work just fine. So you can scroll some more, see if there's anything else you like. I mean, there's lots of cool ones. Obviously, I'm still on magic recommendations. I can go back down to the hands and, of course, lots more hands, lots of hands. And so you can sort of, again, play with it, try to find a way to make it a little bit more unique if you can. But this was the basic idea. And then what we did was we put a heart on top of each hand. So I would just go ahead and look up heart. And you want something simple, one of these two hearts would do either one as long as I can kind of change the color to there's a bit of a red like that. Go ahead, shrink the heart down so that it fits in the palm. And then once you get that heart at a good size and spot, and of course I can use the arrow keys on my keyboard to move that heart up, down, left, right, one pixel at a time. And once I get the heart the right size, I can just hit control D, that's going to duplicate it. And then I can just move it over, put it on top of the next hand, use my arrow keys to make sure that it looks like it's in a good spot, hit control D again, and just start moving it over from hand to hand, control D again. And put it there and control D one more time. And again, use my arrow keys to make sure that everything is lined up well. So something like that works well. And then we just need some colors and some um, fonts. So this font, we want it to be a little bit bold, but still pretty simple. Um, I think I went with one called, let's see, it was Lolita, Lolita one is the one that I went with. Um, so it was a nice bold one, but still gave that nice kind of little bit of a kid feel to it. So it's just sort of round enough and has a little bit of a different shape that it looked like it went well with a kid's shirt or teacher shirt. And then that is welcome here. This was more of a kind of little bit more of a scripty font. And for that one, I went with one called Banthal. Banthal regular there. And so that looks something like that. And then what we do is we're going to 
make the everyone sort of rainbow colors. Um, and so the sign obviously had specific colors in, in terms of combinations. I don't think it matters much if I was to look here at the colors they used on that one. Let me go ahead and just go back really quick. Let's see. Yeah, they all kind of went with different colors. So this one did more of that sort of rainbow tone. This one too, where it kind of went from the reds to the purples. This one jumps around, this one jumps around. The actual sign, if we were to look it up, by the way, also jumps around. Um, let's see here. Okay, so I just pulled up a news story on it. And so it shows the sign that she was told to take down. And so this is what the sign actually looked like. Um, and it just has, you know, the different hands with the hearts in it and then sort of just random different colors in the everyone. And so that is the sign itself. And so that's what people are trying to reproduce. So you can do pretty much whatever you want in terms of the color on the everyone. So let me go back to my design here and we'll just start popping in. Um, I'm going to do the colors a little bit randomly so that they sort of just jump around a little bit so that they're not all like one right into the next. Let's go ahead. I'm going to grab some orange. Get teal. And so something like that, everyone. Um, pretty easy. And so that's my design. It really is that quick and easy to make. And then, of course, we can make some different variations with it, of it, too, if you want to, like, change the way that the, the font is, or the text is laid out, change the colors of the hands, change, you know, the hands if you find other ones. I can go ahead, by the way, group these together by highlighting over them. Now I can move this whole thing and center it. So I can do something like that. And so there's the basic idea and that's pretty easy. And of course I can duplicate it. I can say, maybe I'm gonna move this down here, move this here. So you can play with sort of the way that you wanna do this. So, you know, there might be another version that you do. I can do it again, maybe for this one, I maybe wanna curve the top. So maybe I take this and I decide I'm gonna go to effects curve it, make it just a really light curve. So nothing too much, something like that. Move it up there, move this up. And so now I've got three different versions. Here's one version, here's a straight version, here's the other version. And so you can just start popping out lots of different versions of this to put up. And again, really simple SEO, really simple design, but something that is trending right now. So if you guys want to hop on that today, that would be great. Um, you can probably still hit this trend um, because as you can see from the BSR, these are selling very well right now. And because you were patient and waited until the end of this video, I do have another five bonus niches for you guys. Okay, so here are your five bonus niches. And because we did a shirt that was about inclusion, I decided to do a bunch of niches that were based more on inclusion because that sells year round. So it's a great evergreen. Um, plus it's always good to promote kindness. So number one, inclusion matters. Number two, choose to include. Number three, choose kindness, acceptance, and inclusion. By the way, you might see a lot of these shirts selling really well right now because some of them have been kind of themed towards autism month, which is in April. So that would be now. Um, and so a lot of the autism acceptance month designs are selling huge now. And so although these could be used for just about anything, you could also theme them towards autism acceptance. Um, number four, be kind to all kinds. And then number five, I saw this one I liked a lot. It was equality, inclusion, diversity, and equity never fails, but it was designed in such a way that the words were stacked um, in a way that it spelled out love. So you can see I've highlighted it for you where the L, O, V, and E would line up to spell love. So it's kind of like love never fails. And so that was a really cute design that I saw as well that you can find a cool way to go ahead and do that. Um, and so these were just some great niches and they make for awesome um, evergreen niches as well. 
Um, if you have any questions, drop it in the comment section below. I do try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. Um, I hope you guys are doing really well with all of your sales. If you have any specific video requests, you can put those in the comment section below and I can see if I can get you added to the list. Um, and that's really all I wanted to say. I hope you guys are, are continuing to expand your portfolio, learn new skills and continuing to grow. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative, and we'll see you next time.